What's going on? PKZ, you already know who it is. Um, today I want to talk about some news that was um that surfaced this morning. And basically it's the CEO of Sony, um, Kaz Harvey, y'all know who Kaz is, basically suggesting that the PlayStation 4 will probably release after the Xbox 720 or whatever you want to call it. And I just want to give my two cents on it. I'm going to read you a piece of the article right now. And I'm going to also leave the article in the description for you to check it out for yourself. It says, Ask about, asked about console release windows, Hari told the Times, why go first when your competitors can look at your specifications and come up with something better? And, um, you know, like I said, I feel 50-50 about this. This is the whole thing with the X, the next Xbox releasing before the PlayStation um, first of all, I'm pretty sure that Sony learned their lesson about doing that one again because, you know, when the Xbox 360 released before the PlayStation 3 last time, they took a big loss. I mean, the Xbox 360, they had problems with the Red Ring of Death and they lost lots and lots of money, but you got to understand, when you have like a, a year advantage on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 3, uh, PlayStation 3 dropped at a $600 price point, and it wasn't on point for what the price they were asking. They took a big hit with that one. So the whole thing is, you know, if you're going to release a console, you have to make sure you're ready. It doesn't matter if you release first or not. It matters, but it doesn't. It matters because, you know, that little lead could put you in the lead, you know, before all other consoles release. And that could, you know, set you up top for a long time. But it doesn't matter because you know if you release a console fast and you push it out and you rush it out and there's still you know problems with your console uh for example like i said the red ring of death um i heard a few problems with the wii u nothing too big but there's been a few problems with the wii u uh messing up the brick systems and the uh i heard some people's gamepad was messing up um some shit like that um you know when there's stuff wrong with the system you know you definitely want to make sure everything is ready Hardware, uh, hardware wise, software wise, um, exclusive wise, network wise, you know, you want to make sure everything is on point. So when these people go out and pay, you know, X amount of dollars for your system, that they actually get what they're paying, get get back what they're paying for. You know, you don't want people to go out and pay, you know, three hundred dollars, three hundred fifty dollars, four hundred dollars for a system that that's just gonna sit there and do nothing or it eventually breaks on them so quick that they have to send it back or go get a new one you know people don't want to go through that hassle with that being said as far as PlayStation the next PlayStation 4 coming out after the Xbox 720 I mean if they feel like that their their launch is on point like that and when I say on point like I just said it's the software hardware exclusive everything if they feel like if they feel like they're on point enough to do that then do it because it really, you know, regardless, it doesn't matter if somebody else goes before you. If your system comes out, it's at a great price point. The games are, all the games are looking great. And you have, you know, some great titles out there that people really want to grab and really make them want to go buy the PlayStation 4. Then by all means, do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're all thinking that the PlayStation, the next PlayStation 4, Xbox 720 are going to be announced in the next couple of weeks. I think it's Maybe GDC, I think that's what a lot of people are looking forward to. We don't exactly know yet. We don't have any um, confirmation on that. Yeah, this is how I, this, this how I feel about that. And, you know, people have to remember, with the PlayStation 4 coming out, you know, it, it looks way more promising than what the PS3 did when it first came out. I mean, you got to understand, we can look at the PS3 right now from, you know, back then. It took a lot of punches and jabs because it had a hard launch. But now, look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's number one uh, source for Netflix. Well, that that was just announced like a, what a month or two ago. So the apps on there are being used. Um, exclusive wise, killing them. You know, for the last breath of this generation, they are still pushing quality exclusives. Sly Cooper Four, God of War Ascension, uh, uh, The Last of Us, Beyond Two Souls. All these games are really great exclusives. It doesn't matter what kind of exclusive they are. The fact that this is the last, probably the last year, last big year for the PS3, they are still pushing quality exclusives. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the services that they offer. PlayStation Plus. When they announced that PlayStation Plus 
what was it? That was 2011, because that was right after the uh, PSN outage. <clears throat> Actually, that was during the PSN outage. That's when PlayStation Plus really got big, because a lot of people doubted PlayStation Plus for a long time. I had PlayStation Plus. I still have PlayStation Plus, and it's a killer service. I mean, you always get free games, and I think they just gave Darksiders 2 away last week. So PlayStation Plus is, is really nice, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they just have to go about everything uh, the right way. Um, you know, there's some features on the Vita that a lot of people want on the P the next PlayStation 4. Uh, for example, um, Party Room, aka Cross Game Voice Chat. Everybody knows that the Xbox 360 was killing, you know, the PlayStation 3 for a while because on top of the PS3 launch not being that good, you could also get on Xbox 360 and for paying for that live uh, membership, you could play different games and talk to your friends at the same time. That is a feature that a lot of gamers want, and I think they won't mess that up. I think they will implement that party room feature into the PlayStation 4. So, like I said, the whole thing with, with um, PlayStation 4 coming before the next Xbox, they just got to be on point. That's all it is. And the same thing with Xbox um, Xbox 720. You know, if they decide that they want to sit back and let PlayStation 4 go first, it's the same thing. They just got to make sure they're on point. The whole thing with Microsoft is, is I don't think they have really a big problem with you know their online and everything because their online is good I think they need to add more services and you know we all know Microsoft is pretty much money hungry but they need to take some tips from the PlayStation as far as you know free online services and maybe take down the price on that on live because they're not really offering a lot I mean for PlayStation Network being free and you can pay an extra seventeen dollars for three months and get free games on top of that you're getting your money back every time you know with Xbox Live you're just paying Xbox Live um, and they also need to work on some more exclusives because there are a lot of good games that they can still work on and a lot of new IPs that they could release they have they have the studios to do it they just don't and I just don't know why they don't do it but that's how I feel uh, leave your comments below like and subscribe if you haven't it's your boy PKZ like I said uh, the article is in the description you can check it out for yourself support the links in the description like the Prince Kazama page and I ask questions and stuff on that frequently whatever so yeah but that's it PKZ